Uh, objective of uh, this lecture is to obtain the expressions for partial molar quantities for a binary system. Partial molar quantities are m1 bar and m2 bar uh, in the form, uh, or we say obtain the expressions for partial molar quantities. Of course, we are going to see the derivation, how these equations are coming out and to represent these partial molar quantities in a graph of m versus x1. Otherwise, I am going to give the reasoning for uh, how this graph is coming and how to obtain these derivations. Okay, to start with, uh, of course, you know the definition of this mi bar, which is dou nm by dou ni at constant pt and nj, j is not equal to i. Okay, and we have this uh, two equations from solution thermodynamics, the definition of m that is equal to sigma xi mi bar and the other equation what is called as the gibbs duham equation, gibbs duham gibbs duham equation at constant p and t is given as sigma xi dmi bar equal to 0. So, now we are going to, we are considering only two components namely x1 and x2 or is components 1 and 2 for which the mole fractions of components are x1 and x2. So, we are writing this uh, for the binary system that is m equal to x1 m1 bar plus x2 m2 bar and the final expressions are going to have either m m d or its slope or we will be having m dm by dx1 or some composition terms. So, we want to have these expressions in terms of these variables. So, that is why we take a derivative of this m which is dm. So, we have two variables x1 and m1 bar. So, our differential of uv, u dv plus v du like that for the for the other term that is x2 m2 bar we have this. Now, already we have this gibbs duham equation which is the equation 1, uh, where if you can write this for a binary system which is x1 dm1 bar plus x2 dm2 bar equal to 0. So, using that we could uh, are we simply adding these two terms and which is equal to 0. So, thereby we have this uh, expression for dm which is having uh, this uh, d or is, uh, dm equal to m1 bar dx1 plus m2 bar dx2. So, otherwise we have this expression in terms of uh, both dx1 and dx2. Uh, we want it is it would be convenient if we have the equation in, in terms of only x1 or its derivatives. So, we know the relation x1 plus x2 equal to 1 for a binary system and from which we have this dx2 equal to minus dx1. So, using this, so what we are going to get, we have this expression for dm in terms of uh, dx1 alone. So, otherwise rearranging dm by dx1 equal to coming as the difference of m1 bar and m2 bar. Okay, otherwise we have one nice equation to use and again we are going back to the definition of this m for a binary system. And uh, since this is having these two variables x1 and x2, uh, again we are going to uh, remove this variable x2, otherwise we, we are going to write this variable x2 in terms of x1. By doing so, we are having these two expressions for m. One is involving uh, this, uh, this one is having this m2 bar in an explicit way, likewise uh, another one m1 bar and the difference of this m1 and m2 bar. So, these two equations we have, or is one is available in terms of x1, another is available in terms of x2. So, uh, what we are going to do, this already we have the expression for m1 bar and m2 bar. So, uh, or is using that here in uh, the equation 4, we are obtaining these expressions for m2 bar and m1 bar simply in terms of uh, m and its derivative dm by dx1 and composition variables. Okay, now we have the equations comfortably available. But uh, to in obtaining these equations, we have uh, made some uh, page length of derivation. 
so uh, we cannot derive these equations quite often instead how to obtain the equation in a simple way for that uh, we can make use of this graphical representation of the equations so so the graphical representation i am going to make uh, how, how uh, this graph would be convenient to obtain these equations very easily mm -hmm. so uh, from the graph of course we are now uh, making the graph of m versus x1 so m versus x1 is this red color uh, line uh, and uh, at a combustion x1 the molar property of the solution is m so at this point at this combustion we are making a tangent to the curve the tangent which is nothing but the slope of the curve of uh, m versus x1 at a point of x1 otherwise we are making a tangent at this point the intercept of intercept of the tangents at the x1 equal to 1 and uh, x2 equal to 1 are given as i1 and i2 so why do we say this is x2 equal to 1 because uh, this is x1 equal to 0 which is also equal to x2 equal to 1 so otherwise the intercepts i1 corresponds to the uh, intercept of the tangent at x1 equal to 1 likewise i2 corresponds to intercept corresponding to x2 equal to 1 now mm, so we have this expressions tm by dx1 otherwise uh, you can uh, write otherwise this dm by dx1 is which is nothing but the this line no otherwise the slope of this uh, or is the deri or is this this uh, line represents the tangent the slope of the tangent is dm by dx1 so the slope of the tangent you can obtain from this value of i1 and from x1 or also from m so this i1 minus m what is it giving no? i1 minus m this is much this much value that is we have extend this i1 minus m is this one that is the delta y and this portion is nothing but the x2 hmm? delta y by delta x that is dm by dx1 is nothing but delta y by delta x delta y is i1 minus m so that is this quantity and delta x is this x2 why do we say it is x2 because this is x1 and this is x2 okay now this is done likewise we can also write this uh, okay what is it we can also write this uh, write the equation for the slope which is again dm by uh, dx1 this now uh, at this time we are writing this in terms of these two quantities so what is it uh, delta r is uh, dm by dx1 which is nothing but the delta y by delta x so delta y is here m minus i2 so delta y is m minus i2 and delta x is x1 okay so delta y by delta x is simply that is dm by dx1 is also equal to m minus i2 that is this is this quantity m minus i2 and uh, this is delta y and uh, divide by delta x is simply in this quantity so these two expressions are, up, are coming from this uh, graph which is simply the plot of m versus x1 at a composition of x1 we made a tangent and the slope from the slope of the tangent we have these two expressions okay now we want to just match these expressions with the already available expressions so, so that's the task now for that we are rearranging this each of these equations so from the first equation we have this i1 in terms of m and its derivative uh, of course this equation whatever we have is nothing but the equation already we obtained for m1 bar otherwise what we get this i1 is also nothing but m1 bar otherwise simply this uh, i1 is nothing but m1 bar or is what we say the intercept of the uh, curve at x1 equal to 1 so or is the intercept of the tangent hmm? so the tangent sorry i'll use another color so the this tangent is making an intercept at x1 equal to 1 this uh, this intercept is simply m1 bar now like this we have the other expression 
dm by dx1 which is available in terms of i2 uh, so what do we uh, do uh, we, we take this expression so that is nothing but uh, this expression is rewritten here so this uh, m minus i2 is equal to coming this way and uh, i can we can write this i2 which is equal to m minus x1 into this this i2 equal to m minus x1 into dx1 uh, dm by dx1 already we have the expression for m2 bar which is also having the same right hand side term which is m minus x1 into dm by dx1 so otherwise what we uh, conclude this i2 is nothing but m2 bar otherwise uh, this i2 is nothing but this i2 is nothing but m2 bar okay otherwise so what do we conclude uh, uh, from simply make a plot of make a plot of m versus x1 and at whatever the composition you are interested in getting the uh, partial molar quantities hmm? you can simply make a tangent at that point the uh, tangent the intercept of the tangents at x1 equal to 1 gives m1 bar and likewise at x2 equal to 1 will give you m2 bar the same diagram is uh, reproduced here so here what we have the m versus x1 is available we have this uh, white color curve representing this variation of m versus x1 at the composition of x1 we are interested in getting the partial molar quantities m1 bar and m2 bar simply make a tangent at that point the intercept of these tangents at uh, x1 equal to 1 and x2 equal to 1 are giving m1 bar and m2 bar this m1 bar this m1 bar no, is simply nothing but m uh, this m value or is this point value plus this value so to get this value this is nothing but uh, uh, to get this value of course we know the this uh, uh, slope of this uh, tangent which is dm by dx1 or is dm by dx1 is giving uh, uh, service the slope of this tangent is dm by dx1 dm by dx1 or is nothing but delta y by delta x so delta y by delta x we need to get this delta y alone so delta y by delta x multiplied by delta x so this is uh, dm by dx1 is nothing but delta y by delta x multiplied by x so this is the x so at least this quantity plus uh, at least, uh, this m m plus delta y by delta x into delta x if you have that so what is this delta y by delta x into delta x at least this is delta y by delta x into delta x so this will give you this quantity so at least m uh, plus this quantity is nothing but your m1 bar likewise for the component uh, at least 2 there is m we want to get this expression for m2 bar m2 bar is simply uh, m value m value this at least this value is lesser than m no so at least to get this uh, we need to subtract this amount from m if we can subtract this amount uh, we'll be getting m2 bar so otherwise this is how to get this subtraction we know this delta y by delta x is available delta y by delta x is nothing but dm by dx1 to which uh, multiply with delta x so delta x here is simply x1 so delta y by delta x multiplied by delta x you will be getting delta y so otherwise we need to simply subtract this quantity delta y again okay to summarize everything so we have the expression of m versus x1 hmm? we want to get m1 bar and m2 bar how to get of course we can make use of these expressions uh, are this available given the thing is m versus x1 x2 using that you can get m and you can also take the slope of this curve or is take a derivative of the expression you'll be getting dm by dx1 so is using simply the m and dm by dx1 we'll be getting m1 bar and m2 bar of course the expressions are uh, this is m1 bar equal to m plus okay this equation is already given so this equation you can easily obtain from the graph what is it this 
m1 bar is nothing but this m value plus this uh, delta y value to obtain this delta y we have this delta y by delta x multiplied by delta x so this is delta y by delta x which is nothing but the slope of this uh, tangent multiplied by delta x delta x is now corresponding to this portion alone because already we know this m to which we need to add only this content likewise for the component uh, 2 that is m2 bar uh, m2 bar is m minus this delta y portions so m minus delta y portion how do you get uh, this again delta y by delta x is available which is nothing but dm by dx1 multiply by this x1 this delta y by delta x multiplied by this x1 will be getting this portion so always obtaining this expression is easier if you can have a picture of this uh, what is it uh, this graph in your memory so always this uh, thing is also easy to understand because you have a graph like this you may have a uh, curve like this and make a uh, tangent at that uh, at any composition uh, corresponding to this composition the m1 bar and m2 bar are simply the um, intercept value at x1 equal to 1 and x2 equal to 1 say again this m1 bar is simply m value plus this value to obtain this value simply dy by dx is available arise from this thing dy by dx multiplied by this x will be giving this value likewise for m2 bar this is from m we need to subtract this amount so that's why we have this negative and uh, delta y by delta x is nothing but dm by dx1 and delta x is here this x1 okay uh, hope you have some kind of uh, learning that is how to obtain these equations in a simple way using this graph that is the ultimate objective that we could uh, make it okay thank you we'll see in another uh, lecture